everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and today's video is going to be a little bit different for me well it's it's actually the first for me uh, I'm actually going to hopefully compete in the UK in the Beetleweight division with the Beetleweight now it's not one of the Beetleweights that you've seen before uh, on the social media feeds I'm actually going to enter in with a Beetleweight spinner now problem is I don't have a lot of tools here to build one from scratch so I happened to get my hands on a shell of a previous beetle weight and that beetle weight is this <laughs> uh, so there will be a lot of people who will recognize this machine uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit of history about it so this was built by Gus from team Uwu Robotics and it was known as Sausig and it was built I believe for the 2019 Bugglebots uh, which it was a vertical spinner it had a vertical with a modular setup so it has the uh, horizontal setup here but it also had a vertical setup and little Sausig and me have a little bit of a fun connection and um, so here's a little bit of that Fun fact, the first Beetleweight I ever built was a robot known as Jester that we entered into the 2019 series of Bugglebots where it was in the reserve rumble where Sausig met it in battle and sadly knocked itself out by landing on top of Jester and uh, that was the, the moment when they were counted out and uh, yeah that's a little bit of history between me and this machine. So after Bugglebots, Gus put this up for sale and uh, Team ULL got this machine and that is uh, on the live circuit they're known with their heavyweight version of Dead Bod and they have a Beetleweight version of that same machine called Baby Dead Bod which is a pretty devastating spinner but uh, they had this machine for quite some time and I thought well do you know what I might just be uh, brave enough to ask do they still have it in their their possession which they did and I offered uh, well could I be able to get it bad off them and they were very very ha happy to do that which I have to say thank you so much Tom for for doing that and um, however there was a lot of work to do to little Sausage now the thing about it is what we're going to do is it's going to be completely rebranded and renamed and repainted and um, we're going to be calling it one shot because I only have one shot to uh, have some fun on the Beetleweight uh, division because I don't have any backup parts. I have a few motors. Uh, I don't have another one of these um, brushless motors or a weapon bar. Uh, I do have two uh, backup um, shells or like shells here uh, if, if one of these get damaged so I can swap it around. But yeah, pretty much I'm going into into combat with one shot of hopefully making it to the uh, finals or at least past my first battle but who knows that's the the fun adventure of this and um, so let's jump into what we need to do to one shot and here he is this is Sausig so yeah we have a lot of work to do to get this boy up and run unfortunately uh, it didn't come with uh, top panels but we'll be making new panels for it anyway. Um, you can tell that this was going to this was a brushless setup, and um, because how how small the setting is for the motor part, so we're going to have to do a little bit of work to fit brushed motors into it. Um, also, we have to get an ESC for the weapon setup. Thankfully, I did have some spare bean bot wheels that fit that fit it perfectly, um, but. The good thing about Team Deadbot is they made these uh, 3D printed um, forks so I can make uh, templates out of them so I can do like uh, HDP forks and if the weight uh, if the weight works out I'm gonna also add forks to the back of it so we'll have like a, a back defense for it but yeah first stage is to uh, add the drive setup to it uh, make top panels for it and get this bad boy driving and then after that it'll be getting an ESC for this big deadly weapon that is that is a scary weapon that is that's pretty big but yeah you can see here 
we have the brushless setup. Um, yeah, God help anyone when they, when, we, <laughs> when they get hit by this. But uh, yeah, next stage is to get it driving. Have it all wired up and ready for a drive test. Uh, blade is off the ground, which is good. So good spinny spin. Well, we don't have the ASC for the spinner yet, but wheels are in place, battery in. All we have to do now is uh, put in the the link and uh, do a little drive test. Yay! Let's hope it works. Happy beeps. Yeah. And there you have it guys, that is it fully driving. Now that's the drive setup all put into it. Excuse this part, this is the uh, LED light. But uh, yeah, the next stage is to make um, the templates, which I have so far, I've made paper templates for the top panels and the bottom panels. The next stage is to get some metal, uh, screw them in place and then paint it. Uh, so it'll have uh, its paint job soon Then the next stage after that is to get the brushless set up for it um, a brushless motor brushless ESC sorry for it And then we're gonna do a spin test and see if it all works out And then after that we're gonna hopefully enter it into a competition in the UK But yeah, that's uh, that's get into the next stage which is cutting out the panels for one shot and here he is all set up and ready to go so we got the metal parts all cut out using these uh, paper templates that i used for uh the uh, top bottom top and bottom panels um slight little thing to work out uh this is an xt60 connector uh for the safety link but when i realized when it goes upside down the link gets stuck so it means I can't drive upside down so what I'll have to do is replace this with an XT30 connector and hopefully that works out but uh, yeah so the next stage to do is to take the weapon bar off and get this painted up and it's a nice wonderful paint job and one shot will be all looking lovely and here he is one shot is fully painted and looking well. Uh, I'm so, so happy the way the, the colour has worked out. So there's a little bit of um, method to my madness. The paint that I'm using here, the purple paint, was actually the paint that I used for Hit, my ant weight that was in Antwerp Anarchy. And the bar is painted yellow and red as a little tribute to Top Up. So yeah, there's a little bit of... Uh, interesting information there for you. Uh, forks are painted. The other thing I changed was the XT60 to an XT30. So what we're going to do is plug in the XT30 to see if it fits. Happy days. Happy beeps. But the best part about it is if this goes upside down now, this will, this is on level now with it so it doesn't get stuck upside down. So yeah, next job is to get the spinner to run. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, so we've got the weapon ASC added and we're just doing a quick little test. Happy days. Next step is to put it back together and hopefully it'll spin. We have one shot fully assembled now and uh, 
we got some really good news. We got in, we, I sent an application to uh, Sky's Showdown 3, uh, thinking maybe I'll get in, and I got in. So what we need to do is do a proof of uh, mobility uh, for the event. So what we're going to do is, first part, we're going to drive it around here on the, on the floor, and then we're going to take it outside to spin up the weapon. Now, the one thing is, we have a big field out the back and we're far far away from it because safety is the main priority when it comes to spinners. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. There you go, so it's, uh, I'm really happy. It's uh, fully working, it's driving, and it's spinning up well. Uh, I am really excited to see how well this goes. So yeah, the next episode you're gonna see is us at the event. We're gonna do a vlog about how the robot works. Will it come back in one piece, or will it go into a bag of bits? Who knows? So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye everybody.